Super Mayhem. Planet Dolan. Video games are perfect for creating creepypastas from. They can provide a base story, plus there's the shock factor from twisting a cheerful game into something evil. Bootleg game cartridges have existed for years, and the stories that come from the haunted cartridges can be pretty chilling too. So without further delay, here are 10 of the scariest video game creepypastas in current existence. Number 10. Sonic.exe Another classic tale of a haunted cartridge, Sonic.exe is the story of a hacked game where a homicidal Sonic murders all of his friends in gruesome ways. The player is said to control the other characters, and the only thing they can do is try to run. But no matter what they do, Sonic is faster. One version of the story says that playing the game will bring the evil Sonic to the real world, where he will hunt down the player and kill them in a similar manner. Number 9 the Haunted Game Boy Camera We all know about the creepy pictures from the Game Boy Camera, so it's only natural that someone has created a creepy past about it. It tells the story of a Game Boy that was discovered at a garage sale, how it printed a picture of someone dying before their death. The story ends with the destruction of the camera, but it didn't stop another person from dying in the way the camera predicted. It's a creepy story based on an actual creepy thing the Game Boy Camera would do, but it does end with the destruction of the haunted device, which brings it down a few points. Number 8 The Sims, David the Murderer This game has been a breeding ground for reports of strange activities from the various Sims in the game. One of them is about David the Murderer. After watching his wife burn to death, he was supposedly left in a permanent mourning state until bedtime. Unable to sleep, the Sim woke up and his mood bars glitched out on the player. David then proceeded to brutally murder his son Mark in front of the player. His daughter Lisa was set to hiding automatically and hid in a cupboard. The game crashed when David went to that cupboard, and to make it even weirder, the player's desktop background changed to black and white images of the two children. There have been some pretty crazy stories from The Sims, but this has got to be one of the scariest. Number 7 the Murders of Jack the Ripper. It's been accepted now that this game doesn't actually exist, but it still makes for an interesting story. This hidden object game is different to the others in the genre. It's about the Jack the Ripper serial killer, and the player takes on the role of an inspector who is investigating the case. Collecting all of the secret items scattered across the game would result in a secret ending and restart the game with a twist. The game would now be called The Murder of Jack the Ripper. This version of the game is full of brutal and realistic gore. Going to the story about the game, the player discovered messages telling him to stop playing and to not find all of the secret items because the game was evil. It's a spooky idea, it's one of the best scariest hidden object game creepypastas around. Number 6 The Madden Curse There might be a lot of criticism for this one, but you have to admit it's a scary coincidence and makes for a great story. Each year a new Madden NFL game is released with a new player on the cover, and according to the curse, that player will become injured, have extremely poor performance, or something else will happen that stops them from playing in that season. In 2014, Adrian Peterson starred on the cover, and was charged for child abuse and then was later suspended for the entire season. Not all players are affected as much as he was, and it seems to be better some years than others, but the idea of a video game curse actually hurting people is pretty scary. Number 5 Pokemon Black Hacked Pokemon games are not the new and plenty of bootleg games currently exist, but this story is about a specific game known as Pokemon Black, which was for the Game Boy. This version added a new Pokemon to the starter select options, Ghost, which only had the move Curse. The move Curse was not added to the Pokemon games at that point, and this was the only move the Pokemon would even learn. Defeating other Pokemon with ghosts seemed to actually kill that Pokemon. Even trainers could be killed by it and there was no way to remove it from the party. At the end of the game, it showed the player being attacked and presumably killed by a ghost before that save file deletes itself. It's a scary idea to bring to the cheerful Pokemon world and versions of this game are said to still exist. Number 4 Berserk Evil Otto The legend of Evil Otto is actually based on real events. According to the story, players actually died while playing the game if they reached the high levels of the game. 
The arcade game featured 64,000 levels, and the boss was named Otto. His job was simple. When the timer started to run out, he would electrocute the player's sprite. The two players who died in real life were killed by heart attacks after achieving incredibly high scores in the game. While it's unlikely to actually be real, Evil Otto makes for a very scary story and is a great way to stop kids from spending too long in the arcade. Number 3 Ben Drowned. This game goes by two names depending on who tells the story, but the tale is still the same. The story is about a haunted Majora's Mask cartridge that already had a used save slot under the name of Ben. As the player progressed through the new save slot, he noticed that the NPCs were referring to him as Ben, and the story says that the game kept teleporting him back to the same city. Ben haunted the player outside of the game through Cleverbot, and there was even a text file telling the player to upload content to YouTube on a specific date. It makes for a very compelling story, and is certainly one of the scariest creepypastas around. Number 2 Pokemon Buried Alive Model the final boss in Pokemon Tower found in Lavender Town is the Marowak Ghost, but according to the scripts that were discovered by a fan, this was not always the case. The story says that the final boss would be called Buried Alive, and would have a team of four Pokemon, two of which were unnamed and ghoulish looking. Meanwhile, the final boss was a rotten corpse, and losing the fight would make it scream, finally, fresh meat, which was followed by a gnawing sound suggesting that he's eating you. Creepy Creepypasta about Lavender Town is always pretty spooky, but the idea that Buried Alive is actually in the code is pretty terrifying for a Pokemon game. Number 1 There is a legend of a rare arcade game called Polybius. It was a very popular game and people would queue for hours to get a chance to play it. The people who did play experienced strange things while playing and away from the game such as nightmares, blackouts, amnesia and some even committed suicide. If this isn't enough, the story gets worse. According to one arcade owner, men wearing black suits would come and take data from the game and all arcade machines before the game vanished in the 1990s. Some say that the government were doing some sort of experiment through the game, and others believe the game was cursed. The story combined real events and conspiracy theories to create one of the most popular scary video game stories in existence. And that's it for today, friends. If you want to see some more creepy pastas, check out the video I just did over at Danger Dolan's channel. And whilst you are there, why not subscribe too? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And if you are new, subscribe too. Catch you soon.